B-Dub the Anime Master is back. Double pack English dub Toonami reviews. Intro start. B-Dub the Anime Master. B-Dub the Anime Master. B-Dub the Anime Master. B-Dub the Anime Master. Dragon Ball Z the Anime Master. Here we go the Anime Master. Dragon Ball Z the Anime Master. Here we go the Anime Double pack English dub reviews for today for Toonami. I made a mistake and did not record Attack on Titans dub episode 3. So yeah, I'm going to have to watch it on Funimation now. And do that review probably next week with the uh, other episodes. So I'll probably do Double Attack on Titan next week. This week is Hunter x Hunter 2011 episode 51. Uh, Toonami premiere English dub review and Dragon Ball Super episode 18. English dub Toonami premiere. Hunter Hunter, main cast, English cast, Karapika, played by Erica Hollicher, doing an excellent and fantastic job. Episode 51, guys, can you fucking believe it? Episode 51. Melody, played by Dorothy Fawn, excellent. We heard a lot more from Neon, played by Faye Matta, doing a great job playing that character. We also see her fortune telling ability, which is pretty cool. No Stride, played by Bo Billingsley, old school. Awesome voice actor, veteran, boss show, played by Jake Everall, doing an excellent job. Um, Silva, we heard more of Silva and Zeno, Killua's father and grandfather. Silva, played by Chris Turgi um, I, I, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but Chris Turgi Lafferer. I'm sorry if I butchered that name. Zeno, played by William Dokes, doing an excellent job. They both did great jobs. Crollo, Robbie Damon, doing a great job playing Crollo. I can't wait to hear more. We heard more of a uh, sympathetic Crollo in this episode uh, because he was mourning uh, Uvo's death. So that was great and it was a pretty cool performance. Uh, we have Shaw Nark played by Griffin Burns. We, we heard more of a uh, Shaw Nark. Phaeton, Tom Bauer, Finks, David Vincent, doing all a great job. And the standalone characters, uh, you know, Zenji played by Hank Ketchum and Assassin ABC. Uh, played by Ray Chase, Chris Hackney, Tony Oliver, and etc. Everybody did a great job in this episode. I can't wait to uh, for episode 52 coming up next week. That is when I'm going to probably attempt the live reaction video for the dub episode. I'm going to try my best to do that. Couldn't do it this week due to you know timing issues and etc. But I'm going to try to do a live reaction uh, for episode 52's dub version. Overall, it was a great dub episode. Very Karapika heavy, you know, very neon and Krolo heavy. And it was great. Stay tuned for more because trust me, if you haven't seen the Hunter Hunter sub version, it is going to get even more beasts from here on out. Trust me. English dub script was pretty damn good. No issues, no problems there. I like how they translated the neon fortune teller thing where they showed the Japanese kanji and had Robbie Damon as Krolo read off the dialogue. That was a great way to kind of, you know, fix that issue because, you know, you can't read Japanese. And they couldn't change the text because they'll probably be all, you know, messed up and etc. But overall, a great adaption uh, script for the English dub. And, you know, what more can I say? A great episode. Go check it out. It's on demand. Xfinity on demand. Xfinity for the win. I need sponsorship, man. Where are those sponsors at? Anyway, next up, Dragon Ball Super Episode 18 dub review. So, Dragon Ball Super Episode 19 episode review. No, Episode 18 English dub review. The English dub cast list right on the TV screen brought to you by Xfinity. I need some sponsorships for real, man. Anyway, Goku played by Sean Schimmel. And Christopher R. Savage as Vegeta did an excellent job. The comedy was through the roof. Great line delivery. Uh, Vegeta's line saying, don't take a piss over there, was fantastic. Great comedy all around. Sean Schimmel's very goofy Goku uh, antics was great. Uh, Ian Sinclair playing Weiss did a great job. Uh, you know, some pretty good performances from uh, The Seer played by Monica Rial. And we do hear a little bit of Jason Douglas playing Beerus to Sleeping Beerus with a couple lines here and there. Great comedy how Goku and Vegeta was doing basic chores. And, you know, not to mention the strange training methods that we are giving to them. And that's fucking just pure training, epic, you know, crazy and weird type of training stuff. But uh, it was pretty cool, though. The dub version was great. I can't wait to see more. We did hear uh, Sorbet 
Uh, we heard his English dub voice played by Jamie Schwartz, a few lines here and there. And we have the English dub premieres for as far as the anime, because we already heard their voices in uh, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. But we have Caitlin Glass as Vados and Jason Liebrecht as Champa or Champa, however you want to pronounce it. Fantastic jobs for both characters. And I can't wait to see those characters once again. We won't see them for a while until the Universe 6 arc, but their first appearance here in the dub, as far as the anime version, was fucking great, you know. I can't really wait to see how the Universe 6 arc is going to be dubbed, but before we get to that, Chris Ayers returns as Frieza next week. I can't wait to hear Chris Ayers coming back in full form once again, playing the Emperor Frieza. It's going to be fucking great and amazing and pure epic beastery. That's not even a fucking word, but I made it up anyway. Overall, a pretty good standard episode. Goku and Vegeta training on Beerus' world uh, through Whis and some pretty basic stuff. The Resurrection F arc is going to start. Uh, there's people, the fan base is like 50-50 on it. I, mean, I would say 60-40 on it because they changed a lot of things and kind of fucked up some stuff. But the entertaining thing for me will be just watching the dub again, you know, hearing Chris Ayers as Frieza. That's pretty much the upside about all of this, this Resurrection F retelling, pretty much. Anyway, uh, English dub adaptation script was pretty damn good. No major issues or problems I had with the English dub script. A new interesting dub thing, they did use the English uh, version of the opening theme for the uh, Dragon Ball Super opening. Uh, the Japanese singer sung an English version, but it sounds very English, if you know what I mean. Uh, they used that version for the opening and they dubbed the ending, the Shining Star or Starring Star ending. Um, they dubbed that. So I look forward to the home video DVD Blu-ray release for these dub openings and endings and I can't wait to see how they're going to be dubbing the other endings for Dragon Ball Super. It's going to be pretty damn amazing and fucking epic. I mean, what more can you say, man? Like I said, overall straightforward uh, English dub episode. I don't have a lot of time today to go full in depth, but Champa Vado's first dub performances, first dub appearances, excellent job by Caitlin Glass and Jason Liebrecht. Voice actor of the week is going to have to be Sean Shimmer's Goku for Dragon Ball Super. And that's it. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What are your thoughts on Hunter x Hunter 2011, Dragon Ball Super, Toonami English dub videos. Stay tuned for more videos, guys. Sorry for the hiatus, you know. Um, just working on some other behind the scenes projects, YouTube videos, some short films, and etc. Stay tuned for more interesting upcoming videos for sure. This summer is going to be fucking amazing. Count on it. Check out my Facebook fan page. Follow me on Twitter. Leave a like for the YouTube video. Leave a like for the Facebook fan page. Follow me on Twitter, social media. Stay updated. Stay current with B-Dub, the anime master stuff. B-Dub, the anime One master. Piece. Here we go, the anime master. Dragon Ball Z, the anime master. Here we go.